Tonight we will be checking on Mad 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 Monster. In this review we see that the Frankenstein creator of the monster creates a bride, which Igor wants, but he cannot have her because she, the monstrous, is for his monster. And Frankenstein says, what a dish. So yeah, he loves her. So as Igor drives Henry von Frankenstein down the road to the hotel, he gets really, really cross. He wants the monstrous to himself, but you can't have her. And on that day, he went to the hotel and made sure he got everything set up for the wedding. But the hotel clerk was not going to be into that because he thought he was gotten himself sick due to the fact that he think he was going to go crazy. Then one of his relatives, who is a mailman, sent letters to all the party guests, Dracula, Mr. Invisible, the Wolfman, the Mummy, and so many other beasts. But then in the end, he ended up feeling like he's so upset, got so messed up, he decided to get a different era of work, and he works for his cousin at the hotel. And as soon as, soon as Harley sees the monstrous guest and his cousin disappears, and he has to handle it. And of course, with his bell boy and a big fan of monsters and all that, seriously though, he is like a hippie. He's like Shaggy, only with a bit more dunce in his head. And then all the monsters have their fun in the fire, scaring all the humans out. And then, like, well, Mr. Frankenstein, what's that? Vaughn, Baron Vaughn Frankenstein says, Oh, I'm glad you made a feeling presentable for the wedding. I hope tonight, remember, I'll pay you in good tips. So, yeah, they gather all the food. I mean, come on, seriously. Fried roast, um, crunch spiders, web souffle, snail soup. Ugh, what a lot of weird combos for the food. Remember, this is a sequel, this is a uh, prequel to the Mad Monster Party we all know. Ring of Bass, of course. As the food went, as they dinner began, everyone got eaten, making messes. However, the kids hate ice cream. How can kids hate ice cream? It's ice cream! Everyone loves ice cream, it's delicious! Well, it's now I'm sure the free ice cream anyway. As they enjoyed it, and, well, Frankie gets embarrassed as they mention all the embarrassing stories he did, like taking a, <laughs> taking a, <laughs> an, <laughs> an ambulance with a nurse, a truck driver, and two doctors, which was very embarrassing for him. He starts to cheek until he remembered another story, and he said, "Do not do that one." And then the Fra then Von Frankenstein did a speech. As you know, I'm not just created life; I created a second life. But they were all bored with his speech and all that, and they wanted to see the new girl. So, the monstrous, or Mrs. Frankenstein, future daughter-in-law, came out, and all the monsters been goofing and crazy, and then the party went to bam, crazy, cuckoo, cuckoo. Also, but, but then after the party went out of, hit, went out of hitch, Mr. Vaughn Frankenstein told Igor to hide the girl and come back at 13, on the Friday 13th at 12 o'clock. Unfortunately, he gets it mixed up in his brain and he starts to go, well, somewhere to hide her. Unfortunately, a lot of mischiefs. He drops the girl. The girl gets got by, by a flying dinosaur, as we all know. And then, then he is, then she's found by a monster. A, called a Majula. And due to the factor that he, due to the factor that the daddy of Frankenstein was caught getting him ready for bed, Ready for baby by try to explain to him that she's doing fine, but in the opposite, she's doing terrible. So as soon as Igor does a game of Sarage, and then Ma Manzula, and they all went to go save her from the monster. And then in the end, they couldn't go across. They used mummy's rope to get across it, and they were able to make it. But as for Harley, Harley the poor man was starting to crack like <laughs> started to go cracking down and everything. He started to go crazy. The only one who was a bit more helpful was the bellhop, of course, because he was like a dude. One of those hippies you would do. Then they found her with Monzula. But then, as they see Mrs. Monzula 
is fighting the heaven telling him, Let that girl down! Drop her now! I'm your married wife! Come on, drop her, drop her! And then Manju let her go, and he wanted Manju. He felt sad, but he had to. He had he got a bit of a tongue lash, and but then the guy would go crazy for her. And then as soon as the wedding started, then the bellboy tries to get everything ready, like gets the suit for Frankie. Unfortunately, well, that was a funny little gag. He ended up getting everything on the list, but mostly Alba got messed up. But hey, Frankie got in all his clothes on the side. And then. As Mrs. Frankie inside, or Monstrous, was getting ready, and then, like, well, Mr. Invisible's uh, wife was, like, a nag. Her name is Nag. And she nags, nags, nags the whole thing. Like, you know. Ah. Uh, right. Like, nag, like, oh, come on. You used to give me all that sort of thing. But now look at you now. You're like a lazy man. And her son's, like, playing with his, playing with his pet dog, his invisible dog. And, well, Jackie has a son, a little boy. And they're both got long friends. But the cat and the dog, they're like, well, a vampire cat and a visible dog. Wow. I can't believe he made his whole family invisible. So, and a vampire. And the thing is, it looks like Dracula is single. Because all I see is Boobila, his son, when it's cat also. But yeah, I'm getting off topic. The wedding sets up without a hitch on the 13th night at 12 o'clock at midnight. But then they forgot the ring. But he made a ring out of metal piece. But as they kissed each other, there's a giant hurricane that came upon and destroyed the hole, and they all died. No way, that doesn't exactly happen. But then, then he's like Harvey's talking to his therapist. Therapy. I'm sure it's old as I mentioned. Patient Harvey. Now, if you just took a little drink of this, I would feel happy. You would feel really happy if you drink this. And again, he says, I guess you're right, Dr. Jackal. But then later on, it turned out that his doctor was Mr. Hyde. And then he starts running off like crazy. And then all the monsters join in. And there you have it. Mad, mad monster party. I mean, mad, mad, mad part, master party. Now, this movie was a, uh, didn't know it existed. When I was about, when I was about, let's say about seven, 19 when I moved to my new home, I found this DVD in a VHS place, and I mean, at a, VGS stop, and I bought it because well, it's a it's just a story. I mean, come on, it was made by and it was traditional animation comedy film produced by Rankin Bash Productions. Productions, I would say. And that's my thoughts on Mad Monster Party. Well, Mad Mad Mad. And now, that's all I have to say, folks, because I am bored. So see you all and enjoy your day. Adios, amigos. <laughs> okay, my brony watchers, remember to subscribe to my channel. And remember, there's always more with me than meets the eye. Or, should I say, more than meets a white rose. Night, folks. <laughs>